slice the plastic barrier off. Oh no, this is really bad. I can do this. I'm a strong, independent woman. Hey guys, I am going to do something exciting today. <laughs> I am going to unbox Tada! This Pionex DJ89 Dental 3D Printer. Let's get to it. So I actually ordered this a good few weeks ago and I actually received it a month ago and I only have time to unbox it now. So I've actually ordered two resin uh, but I'll unbox this later. So this is resin number one and this is resin number two. I'm sure some of you might be wondering, you know, why does a dentist actually need a 3D printer? So the truth is, digital dentistry is getting more and more popular and in my opinion, it is actually the next leap in dentistry. So investing in a proper digital dentistry equipment is really, really important and that is one of the reasons why I got my 3D printer. As you know, I've been doing, I've been taking uh, molds and whatnot with a 3D scanner. And the next step to go about in digital dentistry, apart from having a 3D scanner, is to actually have a 3D printer. And that is how we can actually print out the models of our patients and actually show them how their veneers or how their aligners or how their surgical guides are going to be manufactured. I'm really really excited when I came across uh, Pionex because I've heard a lot of good stuff about their 3D printer. So apparently their 3D printer can print up to uh, up to ooh, 47 microns. Oh no! <laughs> I sliced the plastic barrier off. Oh no, this is really bad. I shouldn't use a knife. Ah, okay, I have no idea what is this for. But before I even started, I have already sliced. Ah, this is why you should never use a blade. Okay, so anyways, all right. All right, quick tips guys. Never slice open your box without knowing what's inside. All right, so here we have the um, gloves. Okay, so this is a 3D printer user manual. I hope the thing that I cut off just now is not something too important, which I think it is going to be quite important, but yeah, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Okay, so we have these tools in which we use it to, I guess, to scrape off the whatever residual uh, cured resin, if there is any. And we have some brush and uh, all this as well, some equipments here. And unfortunately, the piece of, um, yeah, the piece of stuff that I just scraped a hole, oh, super sad. We have this little plug here and, oh, this is really heavy. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. So we are going to unbox. I hope I don't cut anything important. I think this is really important though. And I and I just cut it. No shit. Ah, okay. I'm not good at this, but look at this. And I am going to do a dramatic review. It doesn't look that way. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay, it looks really heavy. Okay, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I'm a strong, independent woman. Okay, I'm just gonna do it slowly. Luckily, I had lunch before this. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, Dashin, I think you need to come and help me. <laughs> it's a bit like cutting durian, you know? Like, you try to get the durian shell open up. A few moments later. Alright, so this is the Pionex DJ89 printer. So this is the uh, touchscreen interface. So we are going to open this up. Can I get this out? Uh? So these are the resin. I'm pretty excited because as you know, you need resin to do the printing. I'm looking forward to uh, use the 3D printer in my digital smile design because uh, I am using a very good software in designing my uh, veneer cases. Look at this. Oh, and there's two bottles. So here goes. This is the removable dye model resin. Let's do an ASMR. So this is the removable dye model resin. Okay, we're gonna give you a tour later. This is actually the model resin. So this is a yellowish brown photopolymer UV resin. This is how girls do it. 
all the makeup videos, okay? <laughs> so these are two different resins. And this is the Arto model resin. This is used to print all your orthodontic models, which means if you are planning to do clear aligners and whatnot, you can always go for this resin. So all of these resins are one liter, which are more than enough. Of course, if you need more, you can always top up the resin. You can always buy from Pionex. And actually, this printer, they do allow a third-party resin to be used as well. And lastly, this one is the surgical guide, the resin used to print surgical guide. So it's in Mandarin, but uh, this is PNSG, which stands for surgical guide, Pionex surgical guide. All right, so a quick recap. This is my Pionex DJ89 Dental 3D Printer and we have four types of different resins here. This is the removable dye model resin uh, and this is a normal model resin. This is a yellowish brown color, I will show you later. And this is the ortho model resin. And lastly, we have the resin for surgical guide. Ta-da! So next up, we are going to show you how do we set up this software and how we are actually going to use this 3D printer to print our very first dental model. Stay tuned, transition. Hey guys, welcome, welcome to the day where I'm going to show you how we are integrating the 3D printer into our digital dental workflow. You have seen how we take the patient's jaw scan and you have seen how we, you know, do a small design for our patients in the software, but it is kind of hard to visualize how your smile is actually going to look like inside your mouth just by looking at pictures, right? No worries, we got that covered for you because we are actually going to export what we have designed for you into a 3D model by using our 3D printer to print it out and we are going to transfer whatever we have designed for you into your mouth through that printed 3D model. So today we are going to show you how we are actually going to 3D print out the model and let's get to it. All right, so before we print, we actually want to calibrate the printer first to make sure that everything is at the right level. So you just need to play this calibration cut in and press leveling. <laughs> I can just like drink water while the machine does its job. Yeah, so this is <laughs> so this is the calibration. Uh, we just want to make sure that this platform is at the right level, so that when we are doing the printing, if this this is the tray where we are going to load the resin in. So when we are doing that, um, you know, all the print is going to be uniform. So yeah, you can come in and take a closer look. Now that we are done, we're just going to press this. Auto homing, so you back up. And now, this is when we are going to load our tray in. So, you just want to gently remove that and make sure your tray is good and clean before we do anything. Uh, this is a microfiber cloth, so we're just going to clean, clean that. It's the best if you have the uh, dust blower. Just want to minimize the green fill. So you're just going to load this here and screw it nicely, nice and tight, nice and tight, wait, 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 correct, alright, and yeah, so this is um, the 3D printer part, now we are going to show you how we are going to actually transfer the files into this software so we can actually uh, start the printing. Alright, so uh, this is the PyoCreate box. So this is the software for the uh, DJI Pionex printer. So this is the 3D file. So uh, look at all this. So these are the veneers that we have designed for the patients. Uh, and we are going to place it nicely onto the software. So all you need to do is to flatten by face, make sure that the base of the model is actually facing the base of the printing platform. And I'm a little bit OCD, so I am going to actually just rotate it nicely like this. So what is a platform? So look at this rectangular thing. This is actually 
this this part over here. So imagine if you position it well here, it is going to position well here as well. So we want to do that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually uh, make it a little bit thinner by splicing it. So what I like to do is this, this, this. Wait, let me just try it. Yep, so you will start slicing it and it will become two layers. So you can just delete the second layer and now you can see the 3D model is a lot thinner. So that's going to help you save on the resin. So these are the parts that I actually need in my you know, 3D printer. And we are once again going to click on the model and choose flatten by face and just align the base of this tooth model with the 3D printer and we are going to print it. So when you want to print it, you have to slice it. Basically means that you are going through the layers and making sure that all of these are printable. So let's just wait for that, let the software do its job. And uh, really, I'm a big fan of digital workflow because it just saves up so much time. And you know, time is everything nowadays when you can save more time in doing things. It actually increases your efficiency and that is what I really like about uh, digital workflow. And of course, the precision as well because when you have a design, sometimes it might not be that precise if you are doing it manually or there is a chance that it might get damaged, you know, through um, handling and whatnot. So when you have this here, it is quite hard to meddle with the design. Alright, so now we are going to plug in the files that we have uh, rendered just now. And just need to tap on this real quick and choose the file that we have rendered and ta-da! So this is the model that we have just now. The print time is about 56 minutes and the layers required is about 261 layers and this is when a lot of people ask me um, what are actually layers. So how does a 3D printer work is by solidifying the liquid resin. Liquid resin is the material that we use to uh, print our model. So what will happen is that the light cure uh, that is used to solidify the liquid resin will actually come up from the bottom and it will actually harden layer by layer until you now all the uh, supposed layers are being solidified. So the more layers you have, the longer the print time will take. The less layers you have, of course, you have a faster print and that is why we sort of like make our layers a bit thinner just now. We cut off whatever was unnecessary so that we can make our printing more efficiency. So now I am going to pour this liquid resin in and uh, start the 3D printing process. Let's go! Okay, so before before we actually um, pour the resin in, we have to shake it like you're making a cocktail. Dun, 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 dun. Is that how they do that? Like, <sighs> is that how the fancy butter? Of course, you can buy a mixing machine, but I didn't have that for now. So um, I'm just going to do a manual thing and let's take a look of the colour inside. Woohoo! Okay, so I guess this is like, what? Pineapple, <laughs> banana, fusion. Alright, so I'm going to pour this in.
guys, welcome back. Today is a brand new day because we were having some problem with the audio. But no worries, this time round, I am going to make the explanation even better. So this is the outcome of what we have printed. You can see how detailed and how precise is the printing. So uh, if you're wondering again, the 3D printer that I'm using is the Pionex DJ89 3D printer. The reason that I chose this printer is because first thing, it has a high printing speed. Second, it has a high stability Z-axis which means that it is very stable and as well as an integral light source. The light source is very uniform, it's up to 95%. So with all these factors combined, you can actually decrease the failure rate of uh, you know, your printing. And as we know, with a higher printing success rate, it saves your time and it saves resin as well. Oh, speaking about resin, the reason that I like this printer so much as, as well is because it has an open system and it has a huge range of resins. You can print your study model, your orthodontic model, you can print your surgical guides, your wax up, your temporaries, etc, etc, etc. You can check out more at their website and it is an open system which means that you can actually put your any third-party resins into the 3D printer and it can print just fine. So all in all, uh, I think you know digital dentistry is the future of dentistry because when patients look at a picture of their yeah, small design, they are, you know, most of the time they are not going to understand what they are looking at. It, sometimes we don't even understand what we are looking at. But if we are able to incorporate that design into the patient's actual jaw scan, when we are able to let patients visualize by actually taking a look, by actually having the design inside their mouth, it can really help with our communication. It can really help our patients in understanding our concerns, you know, their longevity of the treatment and whatnot. So I think all, all these equipments, all these technologies are not just fancy show tools. They are actually helping us a lot in our, you know, our treatment. And I'm talking a lot, but all in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out this printer, you can head over to their website. Uh, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.